The Orlando massacre now has openly gay Chicago teens concerned for their safety. In this original report, our Dorothy Tucker talked to college bound seniors. I want to honor those 49 people who lost their lives. At Whitney Young, a moment of silence for the victims of the deadly shooting in Orlando and a reminder of the importance of tolerance. I understand everyone has a right to have whatever color hair they have, how many tattoos, how many earrings, and whatever their sexual orientation. The Gay Pride Club has been a fixture at Whitney Young for more than 20 years. Rosalina Torres is the current president. You expressed a fear. While I'm getting ready to go off to college and in a few years be able to go to nightclubs or other social gathering events that I would have to fear for my own life. That fear is echoed among Torres' fellow club members, all headed to college. The excitement of new friends and new places now replaced with uncertainty. I don't know where I can go. I don't know who I should go to because it's not safe anymore. My mom told me she'd be afraid if I went to the Pride Parade. Um, I don't blame her. Chicago's Gay Pride Parade is June 26. Verbal harassment is enough to put somebody back into the closet, so to speak. And that real threat of violence, of firearms, of anything. It makes you less open because you're sort of like, I have to keep this um, this part of me, like, concealed right now because there's so much danger. It's very hard because you know that there's nothing wrong with you, but other people think that there's something wrong with you. Whitney Young administrators are encouraging gay students and any others to talk to counselors about their feelings surrounding the Orlando shooting. The Gay Pride Club is scheduled to meet on Wednesday for what they call a family gathering, but all are welcome. Reporting live from the newsroom, Dorothy Tucker, CBS2 News. Back to you, Robin Erica. Dorothy, thank you.